All right. We're live. We're live. We're live from We're live. day. What is it now? Day I'm losing track of days. Day three or day four of Devreach. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people. Uh, thanks for joining us here at Coded Live, wherever you might be. Uh, Ed and me are starting things off here, uh, but we have a lot to unpack on this stream. Uh, so uh, let's introduce ourselves. You are Ed Charbonneau, Principal Developer Advocate. Yeah, and I'm Sam. Sam was who also a dev advocate. Um, Ed and me are mostly on the .NET side of tooling, uh, but we will have a lot more to cover on the JavaScript side. We have a lot to unpack on this stream. Uh, we are live, and we have, uh, you know, uh, we are doing charity work. We are doing uh, covering a release that's going out. So just a lot going on. Today. Yeah. So what you all can't see is behind the stage here. We've got folks packing uh, school supplies in bags. Uh, drinking mimosas, yeah, having time. breakfast. Yeah. Uh, there's all sorts of things happening, and uh, we've got some good charities that we're supporting this morning, yeah. right, Sam? Yes, but let's let's also unpack like what we have been up to. So um, we are here at Progress 360. This is day four. We started actually on Sunday uh, of this past week. We had a yeah. full day of workshops. Uh, then we had uh, two solid days of content uh, from you know speakers from all around the world. And uh, today is the fourth day, and all we are doing here is you know. Uh, trying to raise our hand and try to help out a little bit uh, for a good cause. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we are uh, doing a bunch of things to, you know, help out local schools and some charities. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, rattle off a few things that we are trying to do here. Um, AnitaB.org gets uh, gets a big donation from us. Um, we, are, we are trying to help out. Um, Kids in Tech, uh, that's an organization with... Uh, 330 students uh, that are, uh, you know, close to Boston. Uh, we are, you know, live from our global HQ in Boston area here, um, and they have an after-school uh, STEM program, and we are trying to uh, help them out with uh, about uh, 20 iPads because, you know, kids learn uh, wonderfully yeah. well with iPads. Yeah. A lot of the schools too, they have the integration with the iPads. Uh, yes. So they're they have. Um, Call like a centrally managed thing that the iPads can plug into. At least most schools do. I don't know yes. if this one particularly mm -hmm. does, but I know my kids yeah. um, in their school, uh, they use the Google Classroom, but I know Apple has a similar product that they deployed yep. all the iPads. It's a really yep. uh, nice way to get the kids, you know, all the books they need and all the yep. um, resources, uh, internet, things like that, uh, to so they can learn better. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, like, had the backpack full of big i remember my history book was like this thick you know now the kids are lucky they got like a ipad or a chromebook that yeah, does yeah. everything so they're yeah, getting our, some, they're getting some ipads oh uh, yeah yeah and uh, our, our kid school does the same thing it's like your courseware everything is nicely integrated um so while we're speaking i do see our uh, chat room filling up here Absolutely. hello hello naba good to see you um he posted a picture the other day of watching our stream from a giant uh tv that was uh, in the in the living room, which was really fabulous nice. to see, and a little embarrassing. Like our screens and our faces <laughs> are that big. Uh, I, I hope we can do justice to a TV. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and look at that. Aztec Consulting is somewhere in the world. Do you know where he might be? Why don't you come over and just wave hi to everybody? He's right here with us. Turns out he's standing right in front of us. Same. That, ladies Hello, and gentlemen, Aztec is Aztec <laughs> Consulting, also AKA Jeff, yeah. uh, in the real world. Uh, how are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great. Having yep. a great show. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. So, yeah. It's been wonderful to spend some time with you guys. Yeah. yeah. No, it's and been, yeah. What, what brought you here? Uh, you know what? Honestly, it was, it started with your live stream and just following what you guys were doing and seeing what all was going on and learning some of the new technology because I've been using it myself in some production applications. And then there was a, uh, a live stream that you guys did when you were tooling up for the conference mm -hmm. and we're talking about everything and I looked into winning a ticket. I'm like, well, I we should go and see everybody. So, yeah, it's been a really good, really great opportunity. We're, awesome. glad yeah, We're glad you're here. Definitely here. glad you came. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Uh, you know, and, and this is uh, as much as uh, a tech company as we are, as much as maybe nerdy we think we are, um, software industry is a people business. So it's, it's all about the connections we make and, you know, the friends we have. You know, yeah. technologies and frameworks will come and go. It's the, it's the humans that uh, stay with you. Yeah. And yeah. the stories. And we the stories. have so many stories. We do. We do. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trombo, Enel, if I'm saying that now. Uh, Netherlands, maybe? Yeah. I, was I guess. Netherlands. Yeah. Good Is that Netherlands? Good I bet. Yeah. 
Oh, greetings from Bulgaria. Hello, Karan Spellman. Yeah, hello, hello. Um, yeah, we have uh, quite a few of our folks. So our uh, Telere, Kendo UI, Fiddler, a lot of our products and their engineering uh, is in Sofia, Bulgaria, which is a beautiful city. Ed and me just love being in Sofia. So uh, a lot of their folks are uh, here actually with us. Uh, you might see some of them, you know, swing by. And also uh, while we are doing this, like Ed and me are at a little, little podium here. Um, we are at, in a corner, we have a TV behind us, but there's a whole bunch of folks in front of us and uh, they are doing stuff where uh, they're packing uh, things into bags for this, uh, you know, this, yeah. this, uh, the kids in school. So at some point we're going to have folks just follow you around a little bit uh, with, you know, handheld cameras and then we'll show you what uh, all of the other folks are up to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we have people from all over. Hello. Oh, Alan. Hey, Alan. Alan is actually close by to me. So I live uh, very up north in the United States, almost, you know, uh, right by Can uh, Canada. I think Alan isn't from, um, uh, where, where are you from? Is it uh, Ottawa or is it uh, Toronto, maybe? Uh, he's relatively close to me. Uh, so good to see you here. Been over to Toronto? Yes, yes. Yes, it's yeah. nice. It is really nice. It's okay. been years, but I want to go back. It's yeah. great. So Netherlands. Uh, some of us will actually be in Netherlands, I think, two weeks from now. There's a big conference called Techorama happening. I'm looking forward to that. You missed Arkansas. Oh, where's that? Right, right here. Oh, good morning Ar from Arkansas. Arkansas. Hello, RC Flyer. Good morning. Good morning. It's early morning for you. So good for yeah. you. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> Aztec is still here. Yeah. Uh, we are not pros. We are complete goofballs. We're just trying to pretend that we know what we are doing. It was fun, though, to have somebody from chat that's followed us for a long time, you know, come on the show for a moment and say hello to everybody absolutely and i am very very embarrassed with this but aztec uh consulting walked up to us on the first day and i drew a blank on his first name because oh. our screen names are just so popular <laughs> we just know him as, as aztec shame on you i recognize him with the mask on and everything <laughs> uh and alan isn't from toronto yeah yeah all right. Um, so, um, Ed, we also have uh, a tiny thing called the release uh, today, this week, today, actually. And as we speak, uh, like, so Progress is a big portfolio of products, but even within Progress, like Ed and me work on the developer tooling side uh, yeah. of the company. And even that is, uh, you know, a combination of 20 to 25 different products and all of the PMs, all of the engineers and QAs and uh, people who put our content up live, and you know, put the product bits out. They are working nonstop, and they are starting to flick the switches right about now. Yeah, I heard we've released, uh, I think, four out of six portfolios. Yeah, yeah. So we've got kind of groups of things. So we've got Teller UI within uh, DevCraft. So there's bundles that have many different um, libraries and things in them. So the DevCraft bundle has. Uh, Telerik UI for pretty much everything. All of the .NET stuff. All of the .NET stuff. All the Kendo UI stuff. There's, uh, depending on the level of DevCraft, there's some Test Studio in there. Um, and then, of course, there's uh, a lot of the things that have free tiers as well. So you've got Just Mock uh, Lite and then Just Mock Pro. Yep. Um, and uh, there's, you know, uh, Fiddler Classic is out there. We've got some new Fiddler yep. everywhere stuff dropping. Mm -hmm. It's just a whole lot of things. Yeah. Now, normally, on like we do three big releases every year, and then we do like service packs in between. And uh, it's it's hard to align every product to have the release at the same time. Uh, sometimes they fall a little bit in between. Uh, and like the Telerik and the Kendo US stuff always goes together. But this time around, we actually have Fiddler and Test Studio release kind of aligning with us. Yeah. So it's you know it's a nice way to just get everything out. We have a brand new baby too. Something baby, that's like a real baby, not a real baby, <laughs> no, a baby in a uh, what do you call it? Um, a tech baby, yeah, tech baby, okay. Uh, theme builder pro, okay, do tell. I, I have pro. used theme builder, okay. so theme builder is something that hopefully all of you have touched at some point. No, uh, do, do tell for folks who haven't, okay. So, theme builder is a tool that we use to theme all of the Kendo UI, um, and the Teller web uis so, so pretty much all web stuff all the all the jquery based stuff uh everything except for web forms basically okay so all the web stuff but web forms um so teller qi for ajax has a whole suite of uh, themes already uh the rest of those uh products 
Kendo UI, Telerik UI for all the other things, has Theme Builder. Mm -hmm. And you can take a couple base themes. We've got the material theme, the default uh, Telerik theme, the bootstrap theme, a brand new one come that came with this release, okay. which is the Fluent UI oh, nice. uh, from Microsoft, their design system. That is in there as well. But you can take Theme Builder and kind of uh, just use little uh, switches and uh, drag and drop some colors. So you, you can and, see, like, as you're customizing a theme, you can kind of see how yeah. each of the controls look like. So you've got a GUI on one side and, like, the output of all the components that we have on the other. Yep. Change the colors, modify the theme, see it in real time. That's okay. Theme Builder. Uh, now, what comes out of it? Is it, like, uh, CSS or SAS or It's a great less? question. Um, CSS, CSS comes out. Uh, you can also export SAS. What's interesting about the SAS bit is that it only really gives you the uh, properties that it's changed, the color values. So it's a lot smaller of a file. You plug that into your build system, and it adapts all of the colors to our theme. And if you're using the Bootstrap framework and the Bootstrap Telerik theme, it will theme both of those at the same time. Oh, nice. There's some nice mappings nice. in there that's like, oh, you're using Bootstrap. You probably want to color those buttons and things, too. Yep. Uh, and it'll adapt all of it. That's um, nice. Now, this, like, the web kids have so much of the cool tooling. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to pull up here uh, Alan. So Alan and me are old, and uh, we do XAML. Like, we have been hearing this term, like, are you allergic to XAML? <laughs> you don't need to be allergic. It's, it's not that bad. So... Uh, you know, we can also take CSS and style XAML, although you're going to be like amongst the two people in the world who try <laughs> doing that, but uh, you you could. Square peg round hole. Yeah, board. yeah, it's not the same. Um, but you can actually mix and match. And, but I like know, my hammer. I know, I know. But you can actually bring your hammer uh, nowadays with, you know, Blazor uh, and kind of playing into Blazor Hybrid and .NET MAUI. Uh, all of your web styles can now be shared between, you know, desktop and mobile, which is a great story. And you know, uh, sorry, now speaking of Toronto, I just wanted to uh, pull up one more thing here that Aztec said that I had no idea. And I've been to Toronto m several times. There's a place on the ground. So we yeah. are in Boston, which is uh, in a city I love. It's like great weather, except for a couple of months, maybe in the winter time. Uh, but you know, you see all four seasons, and Boston is a beautiful skyline. But I have not known about an underground downtown. This yeah, is interesting. I've been there. I have no idea. But I was a kid. So I, right. I, I have been like uh, across like the Detroit area too. I grew up in Detroit. So we used to go over to Canada all the time. Is it because um, like it's cold <laughs> to be out? Maybe in the wintertime? That could be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, theme Builder Pro, though. We didn't get into the actual like pro part. Okay. So that Do was tell. all the free stuff. All right. We have a new product called Theme Builder Pro. Um, I believe the introductory price is like 100 bucks around there. It's not something that's terribly expensive. It's an affordable product. But it dives way deeper into the themeability aspect of all of those things. So you get this granular control. It's more for people that are uh, design professionals that want to get in there and really make this design system out of the stuff that we already provide. So, oh, so now you're talking like bridging the developer design gap, essentially, with yeah. the design system okay. so we have figma kits mm -hmm. you can get those and your designers can make you know um, adjustments to our themes using the figma kits visually uh, get that the way they want it to look and then you can work together with theme builder pro with your designers developers get in there and like turn the you know the switches and knobs on the the real granular stuff on all the components maybe you want to adjust uh, something that's um, in the pager of the grid that type of thing you can really get in there with theme builder pro and, and do all that stuff and it you know it gives you another way to tackle theming and we have such a um a gradient of things that it's like good pun right there mm -hmm. by the way of things that you can use to theme our components like you can do it through just code right right you can do it through sas you can do it through css you can do it through parameters on the components themselves so the teller qi for blazer and uh, some of the other uh, modern UI stuff. I'm, if you have a button, there's themeability options right on the properties of the button. You can say, I want this button to be a rounded button, and that's something that you can just do with a property. You don't have to know CSS to do that. Right. Um, right. But then if you have design folks, you know, you start getting into the other spectrum of that gradient, and you can bring design people in and um, 
you know, use things like Theme Builder, use Theme Builder Pro, or just go full on SaaS. You know, whatever type of design system and, and tooling uh, gets you to the theme that you want, we have something for it. Yeah, no, that, that, that's really good because, like, I mean, we we need to have the tools to make our looks our apps look good without having the like the eye for design, which our good friend Catherine was, is going to scold me for that. <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, aesthetics uh, is maybe not something we all have, but we can uh, you know work with designers if we do have uh, designers in house and you know uh, try to make our apps look you know uh, kind of in line with what what the designers have started off, and you're getting giving us a good starting point. Don't let Sam play possum with you. Like he's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know design stuff. Uh, this guy dresses so sharp. Like, oh, you should geez. see him all week here at the event. Like these shirts he's oh, got. Yeah, he's he knows design. It's just, uh, it's not web design, but no, it's yeah. Web. Come on, come on. Also, folks, just to kind of set expectations, um, we are uh, very intentionally not pulling up code or uh, <laughs> or things to show you. Uh, because we are, you know, uh, today is just a day where we are, you know, sharing the news of what's out, uh, uh, you know, and then we are also trying to help some charitable causes. Uh, if you want to kind of see all of this in action, what we're talking about uh, on the website, desktop, mobile, and all of the productivity tools, that's all coming up uh, next week. Yeah. We are doing a series of, you know, webinars. I think we have webinars every five days of the week. And we're going to unpack everything that we put into this release uh, next week. Um, so if you want to see code, like I know it's hard, like one thing in particular, it's hard to see what's going on up here. Yeah. But if you want to see code, if you go to Telerk.com, I know you can see like a yellow bar up here. Yep. Go onto that yellow bar, click on the sign up button, on yep. sign up text, and that will link you off to the webinar page. Everything that's happening next week. Then you'll see some code next yes. week. Yeah. We'll dive into the bits. We'll do some demos live. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but let, let's try to maybe unpack a couple couple things that we can absolutely. share. Because uh, as we speak, uh, the announcement posts are you know starting to go live. Uh, so let me talk about uh, the desktop and yeah. the mobile side of the story, which nowadays it's it's kind of nice and combined because we have you know Xamarin, we have had Xamarin, we have dotnet maui uh, we are putting in uh, quite a few brand new controls into this release so we have you know expander and autocomplete and you know uh, new uh, functionality on so many different uh, controls like the data grid in particular and this is something really unique i mean if uh, folks have used uh, telerik ui which is you know most of the dotnet stuff we have always had ui that is for WinForms or WPF, or we have had UI for Xamarin, or might I say Silverlight, or all of the things, right? And we, we still actually maintain Silverlight, uh, our component suites. But Don and Maui, for the first time, is giving us an opportunity to give you folks uh, a grid or a chart or any of the components that we have that works on both desktop and mobile. Nice. And that is not an easy thing no, to pull off. Yeah, and even though the .NET MAUI uh, and kind of Blazor is also welcome, even though it welcomes uh, you having a single code base, which is one of the you know, big benefits. It's a true shared resources, shared single code base that works on both desktop and native, uh, mm -hmm. I mean mobile. While that is great, you don't want the same experiences because these are very, very different form factors. You have a you know, bigger surface area. You need you know touch uh, friendliness uh, on mobile. So we are trying to cater to different experiences with the same control. So our grid, uh, when you render it on Windows or, or Mac, looks a little different compared to when you render the same exact grid on iOS or Android. And developers yeah. don't need to do anything. It just comes you know free out of the box. So expand on something for me, Sam. All right. We use different. This is a pun, by the way. Uh, we have different Expander. terminologies from the web to yep. desktop. Sometimes we'll have the same exact component um, or built-in feature even. Uh, so, like, for example, a stack panel in XAML is the, um, is the uh, flex box yeah. in the web. Yeah. Stack panel, Flexbox. So what's an expander? Is this something I already know? I'm just calling it something different. You do know. So anytime you have panels that open or collapse, either horizontally or <laughs> vertically, that's an expander. Ah, uh, okay. So, so I don't know what we call those on different products. Uh, generally on the, like, I think like the bootstrappy stuff, yeah. those are accordions. Accordions, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's exactly so an right. An accordion, yeah. expander. Yeah. They're about the same. Yeah. And, you know, the, the web and, the uh, you know, native platform, uh, you know, 
they, they share a lot of ideas. Like we have Flex as well, uh, especially like for Xamarin and, and not in Maui. Uh, so we are inspired by CSS yeah, uh, a little bit. Some of the terminology yeah. starting to change more, yeah. more web-like. Uh, so, and then we are you know sharing code so much between web, desktop, and mobile. So it's, it's a good spot to uh, be. Now, um, having said that, uh, with .NET Maui, that's all you know. Looking ahead, maybe that's you know, the latest bleeding edge things. But we also don't you know forget uh, what we stand on, and that's you know a lot of enterprise apps who run their uh, you know businesses every day uh, with uh, desktop applications. So WinForms yeah. and you know WPF, they get a lot of love from us every release. We are adding new components to these suites, which are I mean, think about the WinForms suite. It's about twenty years old. And yeah. this blows my mind that you can take a WinForms app that you may have started in 2002, and you can still run it on .NET 6 today, and .NET 7, and .NET 8. And uh, you know we'll keep you uh, giving you uh, you know more UI. Panel bars. I don't know if I've heard panel bars before. Yeah, maybe accordion is the closer thing, but uh, yeah, I haven't heard panel bars either. Oh, yeah. we've got. Oh, I, I think I know who this is, Telerik Kalin, because it might be our good friend uh, Kalin uh, Todorov here. Uh, Kalin and uh, the team, and we, we stand on the shoulder of giants here. These are the engineers yes. who actually make things happen. Uh, Kalin is responsible for a lot of our you know desktop uh, tooling, uh, WPF and uh, UWP and, and WinUI. Uh, so good to see you know our continued investments into desktop because you know, that's that's here to stay. And what's compatibility like with Teller QI for Maui. Is that .NET 6? Is it, you know, is there anything for yep. Visual Studio that we have? Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. So, uh, .NET Maui runs on .NET 6. That's uh -huh. kind of our stable uh, platform since November of last year. Yep. So, everything we do with .NET Maui runs on top of, you know, .NET 6 and .NET 7 and 8. Uh, but we have, uh, you know, done quite a bit of things. So, .NET Maui as a platform uh, was out as GA, like general availability, May of this year, yes. May of 2022. But tooling was still playing catch up. Catch up. So in August of 2022, we had a focus on .NET Maui, um, you know, a .NET Conf event, and uh, Visual Studio on Windows is done. So VS 2022 17.3 is done and done. So it's you know formal controls that are you know tooling support in Visual Studio for Windows. Mac is still in preview. Hopefully, yeah. and most likely, it's coming by November timeframe when we have .NET 7. But since we have Visual Studio now, which is you know done tooling wise. We can actually light up a few more things. I mean, sure, you can get our controls anyhow you want. Just to include our UI, you can bring in like a NuGet package and be done with it. But if you would rather have a little bit of help, then we can integrate inside of Visual Studio. We can nice. give you templates uh, to kind of get you started. We can give you a toolbox, so you have you know all of the UI that we make kind of right there available for you. And uh, we are working on more things uh, where you know most mobile apps uh, or even desktop apps end up having some common things like you need a logging screen you need a list of uh, things that you want to show so yeah. for those we want to give you uh, a template that kind of helps developers get started on a good good note nice we have we have similar things in teller qi for blazer so if you install the extension for visual studio or visual studio code uh, for teller qi for blazer you get um, templates uh, snippets, code snippets. Uh, so you can type Teller, you know, tab, and boom, you got components. There's scaffolding in there. Uh, so you get scaffold out components. Maybe you've got a data grid and you don't know what, what all the features are. You can pull up the scaffolder and like turn switches on and off, and enable sorting, filtering, and all that stuff. And then it will just output the code for the data grid. So there's some code generation tools in there. Oh, nice. Um, when you're doing a new project, you can select your theme. So there's a theme chooser in, in that process. There's an upgrade option. So if you've started a Blazor project and you're like, all right, it's time to refactor. Maybe we wrote our own data grid. It's not the greatest thing. We need to add, you know, sorting and filtering and advanced features to it. Let's get the Telerik stuff and upgrade our project. You click a button, the wizard goes through and adds all of the dependencies for the Telerik UI for Blazor, converts the app over to a Telerik app, drop the grid in, delete your old code, and there you go. Yeah. You're off and running. That's good to know. We're actually seeing a few of our friends come by, uh, yes. and I wanted to see if they wanted to come in and heckle us and join us. Uh, a famous face, like uh, folks that you see all the time. Come on in, come on in. Come, come say hi, Meow. Meow, Meow. There you go. It's our favorite cat lady. Uh. 
What are we talking about? You didn't bring your friends. You didn't bring your friends that you met at the conference. They're cats. They sleep all day. All right. Hello, Internet. This is the famous Layla Porter. Layla has joined us from UK. And yes. it's, uh, has well, it actually, been... I'm here in Boston. You're now here in, in Boston. Boston. Yes. Has it been fun for you? It has. It's been um, tiring. My yeah. jet lag has <laughs> been really bad. So, um, yeah, I'm just starting to adjust now. And so it's almost so. time for you to go home while yes. you're adjusting to the time. Typical. Yeah. So what have we been talking about? I just realized that I'm live on air and I haven't brushed my hair. <laughs> oh, you're good. Yeah. Nothing new there then, is there? We don't, we don't have the fancy 3D animated studio. I'm sorry. We don't have... Nepal is here. You know what I should do? <laughs> we have been talking about uh, maybe maybe having a little uh, uh, little headband or something. So it's like a green screen hello. So no matter where I go, I can have my green screen. That would be cool. What are you doing with that? We, we can fix anything you need. Oh, wow. Okay. You can fix my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's too much trouble. Um, all right, I shall slink off. Bye-bye, right. bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye, Leila. Thank you, Leo. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. I think uh, I scared her away. <laughs> you did. That was a little, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's let's just keep it uh, to what it was. Um, all right, so um, the web stuff, is it just Blazor, or are you doing anything else as well? Uh, we've got some new stuff for Teller QI for NBC. Um, we've always released new stuff for all of our web ui products during these releases uh but for teller qi for asp uh net mvc and core uh we've got um a new signature component nice. so it's going to help you with you know processing documents that require signature that sort of thing uh drop down button a split button of course talk about that new fluent theme nice yep. so if your shop is a very heavy microsoft shop so you have apps that are, say, in SharePoint. You've got a lot of Teams. You've got uh, what office doesn't use Microsoft Office you know, 365 these days? You want that same look and feel of all those products in your own product. So you know, you've got that same design system Microsoft's using. Then you just flip on our brand new Fluent UI theme, yeah. and you can look like those apps that you already have. That helps your users get you know, acquainted with the new yeah. or, or with your custom software yeah. uh, fills right there at home with the rest of the Microsoft stuff. Using. Yeah. Oh, well, we have um, folks who are starting to line up so they can pack, uh, you know, school bags for kids. But maybe we got a few more minutes while uh, we have a moving camera that follows you around. Yeah. One thing I did want to bring up, and we, we talk about all of the UI, uh, you know, every release. But one thing I don't think we talk enough about and that's something actually, you know, customers, when we are back to in-person conferences, they always come up to us and, and tell us. In fact, Aztec was just telling me, um, we have a set of libraries called Document Processing. Yes. Which do everything under the sun for PDF, uh, for Word docs, for Excel. And you get programmatic access to build all of it and manipulate that in memory. Mm -hmm. And that's, a you know, a standard document library. Uh, so the benefit of that is it just works on yeah. everything that we do. All of the web stuff, all of the desktop, mobile stuff, it's just the same library that lights up, uh, you know, the same type of things on every platform. And we are getting... <laughs> say hi, Internet, to oh, the... Oh, it's over there. I'm like standing up. To the famous... Hi, Cody Live. How are you? It's good to see you. Mwah, mwah. I'm not sure what, need anything. what Ed need is anything? trying to do with the tape. Yeah. I just like it as little... It's well, like, it's, it's actually gorgeous. I feel like we should it's, all... Yeah, embrace I feel like there's the something tape. there. Never mind, the We're spook, missing an opportunity. The spooky old man. Just never mind him with the tape. I'm not sure what's going on there. Are you uh, old? This, this is the spooky tape. This is the spooky tape. I don't think black duct tape is very spooky. And there's no way you can even handle it. Let me see your that. wrists. Nepam, Nepam says, hey, Alyssa. Hello. Hey, Mom. Uh, Hi. We've got some really fun stuff. So um, are you all, can you wrap? Can you wrap? See, yeah. Robert absolutely. Tables is calling me off. Stop, with, stop okay. with the tape. Stop with the tape. Big tape. Stop with the tape. All right. So Alyssa is kicking me I'm out. Kicking him off. Yeah. All right. But uh, yeah, <laughs> folks, this was great to start us off. Uh, right, uh, we're going to have a lot more fun. So Alyssa, why don't you get in my hot seat? Goodbye forever. Yep. And I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Hello, darling. It's just me and you again. The way you wanted it, I'm quite sure. Catherine! <laughs> Are you sitting or standing? I'm going to sit. Sit? OK. I'm going to make Carl stand. So we've got a really special thing planned. I'm so excited. 
I'm so excited. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, she's ready. We've got this wonderful woman behind the scenes called Cindy. 10 out of 10. Would Cindy again, for sure. <laughs> How are you all? Hey, bringing back Geek Fridays. Yeah. Um, are we, wait, what does that mean? Explain. I think just that we're on camera together for the first time since we did a Fantasy Friday. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I forgot. I'm going to slide it's in. Been, oh, come yeah, in, yeah. come in. I yeah, kind of want to, can you do this and then I'll do this? Oh, you can, you I just don't it. feel comfy with the, this. Oh, I the came this. in uh, the with, with the orange juice here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. I got us because we're doing mimosas and a mission. Yeah. Mimosas <laughs> and a mission. And it's super exciting. Okay, Frost. Yeah. Cheers. This is, this is uh, our charity. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. Actually, yeah. drink it. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm, I was told by one of my friends who's French, she was like, you have to look me in the eyes when you toast me. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a thing, right? Yeah. For especially yeah. with all our uh, Bulgarian colleagues. Yeah. 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 Um, We're, come it's here, very come here. I want you to verify. Can you verify? Yeah. I need some real proof. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You got to you gotta make eye contact. Yeah. So Mimosas with a Mission, tell us about that, Catherine. So what we are doing today is actually really incredible. We have had so many donations as well as things that we have put together as well. School supplies for kids that really need our help. Here we've got kind of a live look at oh, yeah, what's there it is. going on. They're walking through the line and they are putting together 100 bags for the local children's um, here in Boston. So they're gonna bring them to the schools after this. Yeah, so I, we are supporting our sister's school, which is a school for uh, economically disadvantaged young girls. So we're gonna pack a hundred bags today of supplies and we're gonna have a little fun doing it. <laughs> you should have seen us counting pencils. It was glorious, it was glorious. We were all gathered around the table. It was me, Catherine, Layla Kodzit was there, yeah. Lebo uh, was there, and we were all just like, oh, and Luce Carter. And we were all like, pencils. Pencil. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Hey, Azek, you want to come say hi? Yeah. He's here with, with the mimosas, us. helping pack bags. <laughs> and he's been amazing. It's been honestly really cool having a Code It Live friend join us. Hello, everyone. Yay. Hi. Um, so thank you. Thank you for being here, man. Hey, it's been great. It's been good. <laughs> yeah. it's been fun to hang out and just see what's going on. I'm learning so much this week. I, I my, great. my goal, I shall be joining the mission in a few minutes. We got yeah. some first Come back. Yeah. Yeah. I love this one oh. that just says, Carl knows. Carl knows. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know things, right? Yeah. I'm drinking and I know things. Yeah, yeah. You got to stare into your uh, friend's soul. When That's you're soul. Cheersing. And I was like, this is a, <laughs> this is a really intense way to do this because yeah. I usually am just watching out for my cup. You know, don't break the cup. Yeah. Don't spill yeah. the cup. So uh, you, you eventually, you, you learn the balance of I know, kind of know where my glass is and, and uh, where people's eyes are. Where's the, where um, the glasses matters less, the more of them you do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But also just don't go too hard. I learned that oh, lesson the right. hard way. Did you break one? Yes. One time, I, there may have been previous drinking involved. I cannot confirm nor deny that. But I went into Cheers and I went a little bit too hard. So when I uh, drank out of the glass, a sliver of the glass oh, hit, like, hit by the bridge of my nose. So I had like cracked uh, a, a big pint glass. I cracked it. And did it just like Cheers. go? Like, like, did it... No, no, no. I, and, and no glass in my mouth or anything. It was just this perfect sliver. Just <laughs> as I was drinking, just hit the top of my nose. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Oh, so that that's when oh, I yeah. learned don't go too hard on the Cheers. On the thing, Cheers. When thing. you're distracted by yeah. looking someone in the Honestly, like yeah. this is such a cool thing. I love that we're getting a live feed of part of the room. And I'm just so, this whole Dev Reach has been, it's been great to be back in person. But it's been really humbling and honoring to have so many amazing people who are pouring into the community come and be part of this. And I just, I don't know, I'm just so just proud of our community yeah. and, and yeah. really honored to be part of it. No, this even just at DevReach beyond just this, we've done a lot of really good charity work. Oh yeah, we as progress made a twenty-five k donation to the Anita Bia Org Foundation yesterday uh, awesome. as part of. Local, I think local, you got to see here. right, yeah. If we were watching the live stream, you might have seen Yogesh hand over that big old check. That's awesome. <laughs> I wish it was one of those like really. What it wasn't? No, it was a regular. Yeah. Was an I was like, check. I missed the big. No, yeah. but it was yeah. not actually like a. Yeah. What is that like? Something. The clearing yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. No, we've done that. We're donating iPads uh, to another school. We are also supporting the Leia Project, which is 40 high school students, a STEM program for BIPOC. Nice. We've got 
yeah, it just all across the board, we've been doing some really cool stuff. Yeah, this yeah. Week. so like, I'm just super excited and grateful to be a part of this. So if you weren't here, I know Aztec was here, but if you weren't here, <laughs> you got to hit me up. We have to make a plan. I need like a Twitch <laughs> get together for all of our yes. like peace, you know, oh, like, that yeah. would be so fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's all. That is my, my spiel of you, we need to see you all because seeing as second person and getting to know him outside of the chat box has been phenomenal so that's my goal <laughs> like even if it's just for next coverage yeah, yeah. Nate Palmer, yes please. thank you yeah yes, although yes, aztec yes. is like maybe gonna Progress write Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yes oh my gosh yes <laughs> yeah but also, I'm kind of getting like some like Nick at Night uh, kind yeah. of vibes as well. Like, I could see yeah. that. Yeah. Is, okay, Nick at Night. I never had the channel. Is it like cooler cartoons? Or? Yeah, that was like for teens. Yeah. Uh, like a, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Nick at Night. Yeah. 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 Nick, yeah. Nick at Night. <laughs> the dark. Yeah. <laughs> That's the stuff. Uh, Come over here. Come say hi. Yeah, you can't just yeah. call things out of some now. Yeah, just call out the entire uh, Nick and Night lineup. This is yeah. Saul. <laughs> See another like Twitch presence who is also in person. Burr, we're gonna burr, make burr. it happen. We were talking with him about getting all the Twitch people together. Oh, that'd so. be dope. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. wouldn't it? Because like having cool. legs is great, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been. Yeah. He, you hesitated. It's been great. He's not. <laughs> yeah. he, he means it yeah. truly. I'm a, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I was cracking up. I think I was telling you this story. As I was checking into the hotel, I ran into Aztec. And oh, yeah, he yeah. walked up, and he, of course, recognized me. And I did not recognize him. And he just walks up, and he goes, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means what you need to do at home is, like, have the camera down here. And you just, just give people the real, yeah, yeah, the no he shot. Is. Hey, oh, say hi again. Yeah. Well, Bye, you. brother. Bye, not ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, we um, were talking about how you were. You, we saw you in person. The uh -huh. first, the first time I saw you, you came off the elevator and you were like waving at me fanatically. Yep. But you had this on. Yep. In like, your picture online, you have a head, a VR headset on. Yes. So in no world have <laughs> I ever seen the whole of your face. Yes. And I was like, what, do we know? Like I was just going with it. Like it was amazing. <laughs> oh, they finished! Yay! Oh, that was awesome. Wow. Thank you, Cindy, for that footage. That, that was that efficient. beautiful. Yeah. Was, I know. That was yeah. efficient. Wow, when when you've got a great that. team and everybody's working oh. together, it was really smooth. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was, somebody, teams from earlier had already gotten together and bundled everything up. So it was really easy just oh, to go nice. through, fill nice. the bags, get everything ready, and get them out. It was, oh, good. It was good. I just. I kept hearing my name while I was over there. I'm like, what are they talking about now? <laughs> Am I allowed to Opa? <laughs> Sorry, you can go if you need to. We pulled you on and made you stay. Is Opa cool? Can I just throw that out there? I don't know. I always yeah. drink. Am I drink? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, my wordy gurdy. So for those of you who may or may not know, today is actually release day. Yeah. yeah. Oh. What? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, more people should do that. Yeah, Leave yeah, yeah. Leave yeah. Yeah. You want to do a creepy just, intro? Just <laughs> yeah. Official Opa confirmation. Oh, oh, we have Opa is cool. Awesome. <laughs> hey, this Yay. is Lebo and Maria. Say hello, everybody. Do you guys have hello. Twitch handles that people would know you from? Yeah. No, um, me no. no. <laughs> Maria is like backing away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> uh, what's your um, handle? Lebo, L E B O M A D I S E. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, has, has it been a good time? You had a good time? Yeah. Really great time. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you for coming, love. <laughs> Sorry for I I'm a, known for making people last minute come on stream. So it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. my MO. So yeah, this is part of, part of the goal. Now it's actually just physically pulling in people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You make eye contact no. and yeah. pull them in. It's like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not just dialing them and saying, it's, Hey, can you join? All of that <laughs> that staring into yeah. the soul yeah. with yeah. the toasting, it's really yeah. paid off. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. I've locked it in. Um, so no, today is our release, which is amazing. Our teams oh, yeah. have worked super hard. Yep. Very proud of what we've accomplished this yeah. oh. Oh, Somebody just pop champagne. Somebody just pop the bubbly. Release. Yeah. Salt. Salt. I'm going to need some of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
goodness. I was trying to see if I could pull up our. This is all Sam and Ed's teller. Good. That net bits. Oh, yeah. Call it bits. Where's where's our where's the cool stuff? I where's think the you, is there a stuff? banner if we just go to kendoui.com? Yeah, try yeah, go to or you can just, then, uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Search for the webinar as well. And then, then yeah, sign up right there. Click there. Yeah. Um, Here we go. So I'm gonna do a little screen, screen share. sharing. Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. You bring, you yeah. didn't bring me bubbly. <laughs> you had one job. My bad. You had literally one job. Oh my wordy gurdy. Oh, there we go. You got it? Did you share? Yeah, you yeah. can see yeah. it. Beautiful. There we go. So yeah, here's what we got. Hendo UI R3 2022 release. You can tune in as always for our webinars. We will be going through every single piece of this, breaking it down for you. And there is some cool stuff. We got some oh, really yeah. good Might stuff. Might be too big. Oh yeah. Let me know if it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> if it's too big. No, it's too no big. I think it's fine. Yeah. I have a tendency for you know not being able to read anything. So I walk <laughs> over to Catherine right. and I'm like, you have that font size, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one you chose. What are you at? You're at like a ten pixel, aren't you? Me? No, I have to do a lot of screen share, so I'm usually at like 16 or 18. Okay, okay. And, and, and we'll... I don't even change it when I... I'm doing coding for myself because I'm like, no, this is my life. Just Truly... get used to this because okay. you're going to be sharing this ID. I literally and identical and... stories, but I yeah. it was just because that was the size I'm comfortable with. I see. So like when I, I go see. to get on stream, yeah. we're already as big as the stream. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one, one time I remember uh, having to do a live session where... I was uh, dual booting on a Mac, and oh. when I plugged in, I was on Windows because I need to show off some .NET stuff. And oh. when I uh, plugged in the laptop, it went into uh, six. What is it? Six eighty by no six twenty by four eighty. Oh, like that is yeah. the max resolution <laughs> oh, that I had, word. and uh, trying to like navigate through at that resolution. Ever since then, I've been like, you know what? Uh, let's just bump up the font <laughs> size and let's just get used to that because you never know when the uh, technology that yeah. you're presenting with is going to do something funky like that. All you can do is roll with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we like that one, or should we do like it's, this that's one? Fine. This I can one? Just, I can this one? one. <laughs> this one? You can let me know, chat. Hey, oh, Fuel. Man. Oh my goodness. Hey. It's so good to see your faces in chat this morning or evening, whatever time it is for you. Here we are. We're glad you're hanging out with us. We're well, so happy yeah. to be here. Um, okay, I was going to do something useful for a minute. What was I going to do? It was what, useful. What the yeah! yeah! That's right. That's right. There was going to be use happening. Okay. Uh, let me do this one because I think it'll be the biggest for this one. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And uh, all right. So release. Uh, I'm assuming the boys covered, potentially covered. I don't know. The Telerik bits that happened. I consider that officially none of my business. <laughs> Um, but we are here to talk a little bit about the Kendo UI side, which if you are new to the channel, <laughs> welcome. Uh, we are Progress. We make tools for developers. And Catherine and I special, specialize on the front end of the web, I would say. Yeah, on the JavaScript side. The yeah. JavaScript. You too. Yeah. Although, uh, are, although you've dabbled. Yeah. So um, for, a while, dabble as well. uh, for, for a while, I did cover um, all of our uh Actually, when I was on the support side, I covered all of our products. So, like, WinForms, ASP.NET Classic, into Man. WebForms, into MVC and JavaScript. There was and just even nothing like you didn't testing. do. Yeah. Wow. So, now I've uh, uh, divested, or divest, divested divest. a little bit. Uh, and now I'm just reinvesting all my energy into just JavaScript. So, okay. I like it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, anything like web-related JavaScript, you know. You are one of the most knowledgeable people I know. So, I think yeah, you've got one you. of those Actually, brains. Like, do you have you. the memory where you, like, take the picture and it's in your head? You have one no, of those? No, no, no. That I have to. That there's there's a lot of work behind <laughs> <I'm not laughs> like, to pretend like, like I know. There's, like, I'm there is effort. It is yeah, not yeah, there, there's time. effort. Yeah, yeah. And I, uh, sometimes I've been told that I... Even if I am just guessing at something, I sound confident. So I think it's you also really just, do. You yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to master that's that. Trick. That's the trick. Because even pretend. when I'm <laughs> even when I'm confident, I often end it with like a. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, so, so you know, it's, it's a blessing and a curse. Sometimes people just. Uh, Take me for too much of my word. I'm like, no, no, no. I was just, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I was guessing. Yeah. Nick said, um, what? You don't have a photographic memory? What's no. wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. 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 Step no. it up. Step it up. It's a lot oh, of note taking. In order, so in order I mean, well, I did. I did have to do this. Oh, there you go. So yeah, yeah. we had a lot of really cool things. I'm gonna cover a couple of Angular bits, and then Please we'll go do. into awesome. What they say? What happened? Uh, Since uh, you must be one of those 10x devs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can confirm. 
So Angular had a lot of cool, like uh, not only three new components, but a ton of features. And we're going to be covering those in the, the release webinar. So yep. join up. It's, it's free. Yeah, it's free. It's free. free. Yeah. See? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, See, I did it. We're just sharing information. Oh my god, ninety nine percent sure we're not charging. We do not this. charge you to hear no. about the products that we want you to buy. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, are you are you making money on the webinar? No, oh, I am. I am on the side. But oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's your side, side hustle. hustle. You yeah. see my personal yeah. ads right up to the webinar. <laughs> Apologies, please join for free. Yeah. <laughs> for free. But we're going to be covering um, the new Fluent theme, which is across everybody. Yeah. Even um, Telerik? Yes. So all Ooh. of our web-based uh, products uh, received uh, the Fluent theme, with uh, the one exception being the ASP.NET AJAX components. Okay. Uh, uh, that's, that's because we don't love them one. anymore. No, 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 cool. no. Uh, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. It's a whole it. different ke kettle of fish, but they've been around for so long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're um, like, do not open the worms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, not <laughs> shut so the, that down right exactly. now. Exactly. The, the Fluent theme, uh, as the name kind of gives away, it's uh, covering the Fluent design system coming out from Microsoft. And we have that for our view components, our React components, our Angular components, jQuery, mm -hmm. ASP.NET MVC, ASP.NET Core, and Blazor. Okay, so the fact that you can do that, because there's no phone. Show him no phone. Yeah, no, no phone, phone. No phone. <laughs> he just did yeah. that with his brain yeah. in his mouth. It was amazing. <laughs> uh, question, and I want you yeah. to take this while you're here. Um, will the virtual classroom update with 2022 R3 changes? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so the virtual classroom, we kind of have a, a rolling cadence of, of updating it. So we do have some changes planned. Uh, and uh, some of it will be covered. Uh, some of the R3 uh, specific uh, features might be covered in there. What's nice about the virtual classroom is that it's not always tied into uh, very specific features. So uh -huh. it should live a little bit uh, longer. So we don't have to update it with every release but we do tend to update it quite frequently. So we'll okay. see some updates for the virtual classroom for sure. I'm trying to get the sidebar out. I think we're just gonna have to be like small or big. I don't know, we gotta pick one. What do you, oh, the webinar sidebar? Yeah, no. the sidebar. You know what I've done before? Oh, just hitting it, gone into like DevTools and hitting it? Yeah. <laughs> I just deleted it. I'm like, big, <laughs> out of the DOM. <laughs> Sorry, that's rude of me. Um, <laughs> so the pivot grid's out of our team. Yes. Yeah, so it's finally V1. For all of those that need pivoting in their life, <laughs> yeah, and not from your startup idea, but actual data pivoting. Yeah. And, and we also have a new component of the drag and drop that I hear you use it anywhere. Yeah, so it's a generic drag and drop component. It's not tied to our specific Angular component, so you can wire that up to like plain HTML elements. So you can define elements that are draggable, <laughs> areas that are droppable. It's very. And then nice. yeah, so like if you break that down to the individual HTML elements, that's cool. And then. Of course, you can start using that in your other Angular components. So if you're using drag and drop, yeah. hit so, it, drag, <laughs> and drag it yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing that. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. is happening in the actually. webinar. Watch for it, fuel. I'm gonna yeah. make it happen. <laughs> Oh wow. my word! That's, that's great. I uh, have never seen that, and now I'm gonna steal yeah. it uh, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, Yo, where was this joke when kind of React got drag and drop? Yay. <laughs> hey, love Angular more. Oh, Danny Wall says great. Thank you guys. And Fuel was saying that sounds amazing. Awesome. You yeah. guys are it so is sweet. Really, yeah, I mean, not to flex on you, but React has had it. So. I know. She goes like, whenever we were prepping for the web or the stream, she goes. You don't have that yet, <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I don't need this. Yeah. And who you guys just got the pivot grid too. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, what, what do you got going on? What yeah, what's yeah. new in React land, uh, madam? We have a really cool update. So we have just one brand new component, but it's a good one. The signature component, uh, which does not, in fact, mean just like a signature, you know, scent or a signature look, so much as a literal your signature, your John Hancock can now be recorded through a Kendo React component to use to like sign legal documents and all sorts of very important things. Or just draw little pictures on, I guess, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 you can yeah. draw whatever you want to. Yeah, you can use a mouse or uh, for yeah. touch interfaces might be a little bit easier. I don't know if you've ever tried to like in input your signature it's using hard. a mouse. Uh, it's yeah. miserable. Fraud <laughs> it, it must just be so prevalent in any online form where they're like, yeah, use your mouse to sign. Uh, yeah, no. I was just laughing because Aztec said later to Napalm in the chat, he's right here. Just, <laughs> I love it, I love it. The worlds are colliding, yeah. right? It's yeah. beautiful. I didn't um, even notice. You didn't even notice? <laughs> I was just like, yeah, Aztec's in chat, of course. <laughs> you didn't realize, like, in, right there. Like, I did not <laughs> put the two together. Not at all. <laughs> Oh, 
sign, sign up. up. Oh, yeah. with a release. <laughs> <laughs> webinar. But yeah. The webinar. Yeah, we've got our signature component, which is lovely. Uh, and then we've also got just a, frankly, a bevy of new feature additions to components that Good we already word. have. Bugs that have been yeah. fixed. The yeah. Ender React is in the lovely position of now having well over 100 components. So we are starting to really refine and perfect what we've got. And it's, it's a good place to be. Yay! It's a really happy place to be. Awesome. <laughs> um, I was wanting to talk about something that actually spans both our worlds yeah. and maybe the Telerik world. I'm going to need clarification on that too. Mm -hmm. uh, the theme builder. Oh, man. I'm excited for the theme builder. <laughs> <laughs> um, define it as in pre today and then after today, please. Yeah, so for those of you that use our component libraries might already be familiar with the existing theme builder, uh, which is a web app that you could use to basically change the colors of the, the components that you were using. Um, oh yes, please pull it up, thank you very much. It was a quick way to kind of reskin the components, so really good. Here, you want me to sign in? Mm. I've got, I think oh, yeah. this is the new one. I've got temporary yeah. access. I personally don't know any sign-ins ever. I was like, you can do that with your brain? <laughs> I, Seriously, you know passwords in I, your head? I clearly don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, woo, we'll just see. Who's on top of life? Anyway, so the theme builder. Hey, <laughs> shut up. Yeah, okay, show us. Save it. Yeah. yeah, so this is the new theme builder. The old one uh, was really effective if you were just looking to kind of change the colors of your components, kind of reskin quickly. It was like an easy way to access the variables, I think. Well, but really just the colors. Uh, yeah. It was very, very limited in its scope. Um, I think you could change a border radius and you could change the colors in the existing theme builder, yeah. which was good if you were a dev that just needed to go in and like, yeah, you know what? Our brand color is green. We need components to be green. Yeah. Like, done and done. Mm -hmm. But the theme builder pro is really here to be able to deep dive customize all of the components in a WYSIWYG format so that you don't have to touch the SAS if you don't want to. So I have an example here, of course. Of course. I always want to touch the SAS. <laughs> I do too. I do too. <laughs> wow, what? For, for you people, I've walked through this and not touched any SAS at all. I am <laughs> terrified of SAS. No, you won't touch it? Yeah. Uh, I was like, just it's, give me the it's, variables. It's more. Um, oh, I love it. Yeah, because oh, our tools have made it so easy yeah. and a lot of our demos, I just get to either I use the theme builder that. or yeah. I just. You know, I, I do some minor tweaking. Yeah. Uh, I yeah don't have the full confidence that you two have with going <laughs> in and doing some uh, oh, hardcore editing. Have... Yeah. This is interesting. Uh, what's, hot, what's wrong? The the fonts are not all necessarily loaded. We're on the streaming computer, not on a personal laptop, and so uh, some of the fonts. I was like, what is it all? There we go. This is yeah. close enough. We we'll use a we we'll use a little Arial. But you can see right now, I'm making shifts to the typeface, and it's applying all the way across all of my components. You what, can so see, what uh, theme are we in right now? What's happening? So this is are a theme. we in a default or something? No, no, no. This is a theme that I've created. So oh, those of right, you, right, 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 right. You've logged into your account. Everything's making sense yeah. now. So hmm. those of you that have seen me demo some kind of React stuff before, you might be familiar with my much beloved Star Trek L-Cars yeah, theme. Yeah, L-Cars. Yep. Yeah. 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 Sounds <laughs> sassy. Oh, the fun. <laughs> so, uh... My Kendo demo is all done in this Star Trek theme that's meant to mimic the UI that's used. But you there. created that in the old theme builder and it's now here in the new one or did I you actually, can't create over? What, what had happened? When I created that the first time I actually used our Figma kits. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've done it in our Figma kits and now the first thing, of course, when I got access to this, I was like, I gotta do l -cars. I gotta, I gotta get l yeah. in here. Uh, so that's what I've done. Are we sharing? Is our is our screen still sharing? Oh, we're not screen sharing. Oh, uh, let's fix it. Sorry. No! What had happened? Because uh, Alyssa made the screen so small we can't see anything. Oh, oh the tab. Tabs. The new tab's not sharing. That's bizarro. That's bro. my bad. We will fix it. Are you sharing? Sorry thank you, Alchemist. You're beautiful. You and we this. love you. And thank you. Yeah. And I apologize. <laughs> All right. Watch uh, us get this. Uh, I just wanted the window. The window? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, You're yeah. so Which wise. Um, it's going to be, yeah, that. I got it. Oh, All right. Yes. Uh, here we go. And I'm going to leave this just uh, wide enough that we can keep an eye yeah. on. You got to change fonts again. They didn't see it. Oh, yeah. I'm right. sorry about that. That was, I didn't realize. But yeah. No, that's so. okay. So demo gods. Yeah. yeah. No, no, there was no goat thing. sacrifice this morning. Yeah, that's right. I didn't. I, I forgot. Nope. Yeah. That's why. That's why. 
I, I ran out of goats. <laughs> Straight up out of goats. I went to the Starbucks. They had nothing. No, no goats. Like, you go? Goat they were like, no goat. No yeah, goat. I went to goat. <laughs> but no, so I've got... Uh, yeah, I was going to see. I don't think I have the whole address memorized. I have my Kendo demo app up on the GitHub pages. Oh, thing yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to pull it up, but I don't actually remember the URL. Here, um, so, this uh, one, though, when you were changing, everything's live updating. And you yeah. have, do you have all the components in this one or just a select few? No, you can see every single one of our components in this live preview. And, and all of them are interactable. You can click and see what things look like. But you were saying cover, with this new, new theme builder that you can do more than just color. Can you show us oh, something that you couldn't change before? For sure. So let's see. We tab over into this advanced edit section, yes, right? Yes. We click on one of these. Oh. And all of a sudden, we can see this whole breakdown. This is every single state of the button component. That's a lot of whiz biz. It's a lot. And you can see up here, right? It's breaking it down. You got the button object and then the text. And right? these are That's all the properties it. that are predefined on those? Yes. Shut the front door. So you can open every single one of these, right? <gasps> and you can see I've got all my colors defined. Oh, my word. And all Almost these little there. variables. Yeah. And if I was like, you know what? Actually, I want my button to be this. You know, I want the text background to be this color. You can see it. It's not particularly cute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This works for everything, Carl? 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 Yes, it works for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Everything? Yeah. Like right. jQuery. Oh, uh, laser. I mean, if you're talking about products. So right I'm talking now. talking about components. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. For, yeah, oh, for components, this right? it works for a lot of our components. Uh, for the products right now, today, uh -huh. uh, this works for uh, Angular, yeah. for React, for uh -huh. Vue, yes. and for Blazor. Oh, uh, jQuery, all MVC, my and Core. <laughs> yeah, yeah. jQuery, MVC, and Core will be getting uh, these updates a little bit in the future. Yeah. Uh, they just have so many uh, components. And we also, uh, by the way, this uh, theme builder has existed for, for quite some time. So this is uh, kind, of, kind of a, we've been listening to a lot of feedback from folks That's and exciting. we've been able to uh, add that in and kind of uh, actually rebuild the theme builder from the ground up. Um, so jQuery, MVC, and Core just need a little bit more time. Uh, but if you're uh, on the Angular side or on the JavaScript side uh, for for uh, React and Vue as well, uh, you're good to go. Will you grab Eve for me? She is ponytail white shirt. Ponytail white shirt. Yeah. So you can see here and now I'm making some very, uh, very unflattering, mostly changes to my button, right? I've changed some colors, I've changed some padding. Uh, I'm messing with all of our stuff here. Let's see some effects. So Alchemist said, can you target specific browser versions for testing purposes? Right now, we don't have like a browser emulator that's built into the theme builder. However, you can, and that's a little bit more work. You can open the theme builder in every different browser. Mm -hmm. And this will, because the other part of this that's really cool, right, is that you can share. So, you know, many hands makes light work, right? If there's a whole component library that I need to retheme, it takes a minute. But I could share this link, right? I use this little icon guy to share it with a teammate. The release is live. Oh, we just got it. Oh, yeah. Cheers. We're live. I have got people looking lost in the audience. We're live. It just went live. You can Our release is live. live. Our three releases. Our three Don't be scared. It's exciting. Yeah. They're not scared. It's fine. They're totally fine. So we actually are out of time. We got to wrap. It's, it's for the yeah, next segment. It's true. But will you sign out and then we can pass it off? Yes. I don't want anybody messing up your L cards. Yeah. Oh, not anymore than I just messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for hanging yeah. out with us. We've got Eve and Andy coming on to talk to you for another 30. And um, if you've been with us throughout this whole dev reach, I just want to thank you. You've been really beautiful chat. So yep. mwah, have a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs> going this way. I'm going this way. And... So it's hard to come in after all that. Right? I mean, Ooh, the cherry and the hurrah. This is insane. Right? It's still so, really hot over here from this fresh release. I mean, it's like I mean, fresh bread. Good timing for us, though. Yeah. You can hop right in and be like, the release is live. Grab your bits, all yeah. those exciting things. Bring it down, a hot off the presses. I mean, I'm looking at release notes right here. It's looking pretty. Yeah. So I think we're, we're following the whole the Kendo UI release, right? All right. right. Yeah. Uh, Catherine and Alyssa before us. So we're here to bring you a couple different flavors for yeah. the release. I'm going to talk a little bit about the filter. What are you going to talk about, Andy? I'm going to talk about some Test Studio. Nice. Uh, our test automation software. Okay. Yeah. And actually, there's a little tidbit in there about Maui. 
Ooh, what's that? Go on. What's yeah, the tidbit? Well, uh, the tidbit that we have coming out today, our big, I guess, biggest news, if you, if you don't mind, I guess, leading with yeah. Test No, Studio. let's lead. Go. Okay. Well, biggest news of the release for Test Studio is we have really expanded and released officially our desktop test automation. So where we have been formerly web and NWPF for years, uh, we had a little bit of a gap with WinForms and with other desktop technologies that we have now closed as of today, full desktop support for test automation. Okay, I think that deserves a round yeah. of applause. Get the studio yeah. audience out there. Thank Whoa, you. test studio! <laughs> yeah, I know, pretty wild, right? Which yeah. that, which also translates into desktop Maui applications. That's where Maui comes into the into this. Okay, now I see the connection. Mm -hmm. okay. And of course, we already support the web and, and everything right. else. So. That is some big news. That is big news. Yeah. yeah. So, so what you got? <laughs> well, I feel like if you guys tuned in yesterday, Andy and I were on together, and we had props and everything. And right now, I'm feeling like. I know, I know. I'm feeling like my hands are. Gary, hold this. Right? I mean, that looks kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. But like. Just a roll of ink tape, folks. Just, you know, hand it, have five. But in terms of Fiddler, we have two things, two products that release. We have Fiddler Everywhere. And some big things oh, yeah. with that are the uh, Apple Silicon Chip support. Yes. So those are you. for the Mac users. Extended offline support. So even if you don't have an internet connection, you can still use a lot of the functionalities that, that don't require that cloud access nice. without being forcefully logged out. That's, so that's great. a really big one. Another one is be able to skip domains within like a bypass list oh. within the settings. Oh, so lots of times when you're doing a mobile traffic, you need to bypass the Apple Store. You can put those domains in, and Fiddler will not replace the HTTP certificate. I didn't for those hear domains. that one's new to me. I didn't hear yeah. that. Yeah, yep. surprises surprise, everyone. Surprise, surprise. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Um, and then, kind of exciting on the Fiddler Jam side, which is the remote troubleshooting, we now have an embedded option. I don't know if we talked about this yesterday. I don't think we did. But what it's a JavaScript library oh. that you can embed into your application yeah. to allow your end users to report issues using the Chrome extens the Chrome extension. Nice. Um, and it only okay. requires is three lines of uh, JavaScript code. Yeah. Okay. I right. Think so just like a little that, snippet, and you're good to go. You have all go. that baked right in. That's incredible. And then for those that haven't heard what Fiddler Jam is, tell us a little bit about it. That's a newer product. Yes. And maybe people don't know about it. Yeah, good point. So, you know, it does under the Fiddler family of products, however, it is a very distinct product. It can work, it is complementary to Fiddler everywhere. Mm -hmm. They can work together. Um, however, Fiddler Jam supports a different use case. Right? Uh -huh. It's for those customer support professionals who are working with customers and end users to report their issues. They're happening on their machine. Yeah. Instead of having to download software or do those go to meeting calls or those back and forth email exchanges, you can send them to the Chrome store. They download the extension. They can capture everything with video, logs. Video. Send it. Wow. That's newer too. We probably last talk. And send it back with you know, all the information right in the portal about this. And you can either be that first line of defense if you need to and replicate the issue and be like, okay, here's the situation. Or if you need to further escalate it to your development team, that's where you can share it with, with it everywhere, right, to the team, and they can get right to the issue. That's incredible. I, and I, I think, I mean, from a, from a debugging and a QA kind of standpoint, which we really represent, I think, from our corner of the products, of the DevTools product stack, you know, it's it's always difficult to catch that moment of failure. You know, sometimes yeah. those those tricky little issues that that are can't quite uh, figure out why or how they're popping up. And I think Fiddler Jam does a great job of being able to at that moment moment let you uh, catch it. Right. And, and get exactly. That What's happening? What was happening in the background? What were all the service calls? You know, what all those little things that hard to replicate or what's that saying it didn't happen on my machine yeah or, not my problem or right? this is these are all the steps i followed but then maybe four were left out uh -huh. so, i think uh couldn't replicate it yeah it's sometimes a really bad way to end a support issue yeah. right so you're never going to miss the detail right right there's never going to be like well what if like the whole story's there that's great that's incredible uh, that's just one of the big things and then i know we're going to share more in terms of showing you these bits next friday we have the productivity webinar. It's 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, I don't know if you're on that or is it Rick from your team who's doing that? Uh, I know webinar? I'll be doing a release webinar. I think next like Monday. Next like Monday? Okay. Oh, the test studio one. It's yes. Monday. Yes. Okay. So then um, Friday will be the more productivity. Yeah, so more more demonstration of, of yes. the new bits, right? Yep. So if you want to come back and see 
us actually work with these new features and see them for yourself. Of course, you can download it right now. You can go get your trials yes. or go get the new versions if you already have a license uh, from our from our Telic.com support site and uh, try it yourself. Um, or if you're if you're new and you're you're not uh, you know into the Telic ecosystem yet, you can go get yourself a Telic account and start today. You know, just get whatever you want, play with everything. We got a lot of online demos too for the controls, um, but uh, for our productivity tools, those are a great addition to, uh, to hopefully the tool set you're already using today. That's what I was gonna say. Now, what are, what's the trial link for like the recording or test studio? That's a good question. It's a little different, right? I think so. It's a little different than what it is for Fiddler. Uh, for Test Studio, it is a 30-day trial. Okay. And I believe that's the same for uh, the components. Okay. So in the Fiddler Everywhere, we have the 10-day trial. And the Fiddler Jam is the 14. So that's a great way to test out the components. You get to see the value, you know, very quickly and how you can integrate them into your workflow before you have to, you know, make that commitment. Yeah, and actually, a good point to make since we're talking about support with uh, with respect to Filler Jam, you get access to our support even during a trial. So yes, if you want to, we always tell people that you know, trial not only our software but trial our support too. You know, go ahead and submit tickets, interact with those folks. A lot of times when you submit a ticket, you're interacting with essentially the, the actual developers who built the product. So you have access directly to that throughout the whole life cycle of our of our of our stack, really. Yeah. And that should be part of your evaluation. I didn't even know our developers who are using um, software, you know, outside of the development space, they're testing support. You know, whether they're doing a video sharing service or they're using some kind of writing editor, you know, they yeah. pay attention to what the support is because that should be part of your evaluation. Like, how responsive are they? You know, how well how do they resolve your concern? Right. So, and I mean, in, a, in an ideal world, support's not needed because everything works. But come sure. on, we know, we know the reality, you know, but... It's an important factor, uh, you know, and it, and it's a big factor too when people talk about open source versus you know commercial product. Well, yeah. If you're gonna buy a commercial product, you better expect commercial level support as well, enterprise level support as well, and that's something that we've really well done really well uh, over the years and, and are known for is, is our, our top notch support. I agree. That's great. And we hear that testament at events like these. You know, Andy and I travel to different parts within the U.S. Um, most recently, I was in Kansas City, and you were in, you were in Texas. I don't even know where. Oh yeah, I was in Texas, and I'll be in uh, uh, Disneyland next month. Okay, so we get to see people who are using our controls, and we yeah. get to hear back. You know what their Mickey experiences Mouse are. Mickey, I mean, yeah. that's all you need to know. Mickey Mouse it, uses the controls, right? right? <laughs> Is that open source? Now? No. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so it's, it's been an exciting time, you know, for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, all the sessions are going to be available to you on demand. If they're not up there now, they will be up there shortly. We've had some amazing keynotes oh, for absolutely. the last few days. We've had our expo halls. We've had different conversations along with the talks. And we've had some great speakers come in from oh, it's all over so the world. Good. It's been right? really good. I mean, I wish I could have gone to every session, but I was at some points kind of trying to get into half a session and then another half at the same time. It's, I, I wish I could do it all again. And actually you can, because everything has been virtualized, recorded. And you can, if you miss something, you could go back and you can watch. And that is nice. I mean, we were fortunate enough that we were able to come to Austin, but for other people, this may not have been in the cards for you. Something else came up or you had other responsibilities or it just wasn't a good time for you to travel. And we get that. And that's why we want, we don't want you to miss out. That's why this information uh, will con be continued to live on. And I think you're going to be impressed when you see some of the speakers and just the amount of knowledge transfer that you can accumulate by just even watching a few of them. Yeah, I mean, the brain power that we had collected here this week is just off the charts. Yeah. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's it's exciting to be able to just have conversations with some of these folks that just know so much about about these applications, how to build applications, how to bring them to life. And, uh, and and I'm looking at the chat over here. It's alive, yeah. as Tech Consulting says. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. alive. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, everything's live now. Go test it out. Go check out the release notes. And uh, like I said, get started if you haven't. Uh, go get your trials or, or even buy a license. You can buy licenses online if you want to. True. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, and one nice thing, too, about being at this event is we talk a lot about, you know, the technical skills. But we've done a lot of talks around the soft skills part too yeah. you know from interviewing to kind of your mindset and i think it just gives you a real holistic um takeaway of you know 
coding is, is part of your job and building those great applications, you got to take care of yourself, yeah. right? Mentally, right. physically. And then how do you get there if maybe things start to get out of control? And it's, it's going to happen. Everybody, yeah. everybody gets overwhelmed yeah. at some point. Well, especially at the beginning of a project, you know, if you're into greenfield development, things like that, there's a bunch of question marks. It's, it's it's exciting and it's nerve wracking at the same time. And like you said, I think a lot of the knowledge sharing that we see from, from the folks this week, it gives you that kind of calm or that peace that like, wow, okay, they, they seem comfortable. They seem to be able to convey the, you know, the ability to do this and, and, and have been successful at it. And it, it's really encouraging. Um, but, but I also think giving you that mindset of like, okay, now I know better how to maybe plan going yes. into this and, and what tools I'm going to need along the way. And, and that's really, I think, what we're all about is, is making it a lot easier to build and uh, develop and, and get your get your customers a, a really rich experience. And then also, of course, keep that going, keep that running, keep it growing and get you know likes and thumbs ups and shares and you know, yeah. grow your, your customer base. And, and we'd love to be that company kind of the company behind the company that helps build these applications for customers. Yeah, we're here to cheer you on. You know, we know you have obstacles to overcome when it's tight deadlines, doing more with less. And I mean, this is, we have dedicated developers, architects, program managers, project managers, like, and this is what their sole focus is. Yeah. You know, it's these developer productivity tools. And that's what this release is all about in terms of releasing new controls or feature enhancements. Um, and a lot of it's user driven. I mean, I think we've talked to a lot of these team members who have come on throughout the show, but they really take that feedback and, and put, it, put it to work. Oh, for sure. And, and I mean, there's also, you know, talking about kind of that getting started and all the question marks and the anxiety that goes with that. Um, we also have an awesome ecosystem of partners. So I've seen this more and more recently with our customers where they love what we have and they obviously want to get to the finish line as quick as possible so that they can have that application out to their user base. And we've done a lot of work recently, especially to, to help our customers get there through our partnerships with other uh, uh, resellers and so forth and integrators. Um, so it's not just us. We have this awesome following in the community that it's helping not only us, but helping our customers too. I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a good distinction or a good point to make. Um, and, and then you get part of that community, right? I think that's why you have a lot of the attendees here who are not progress employees because they appreciate this kind of community. Yeah. They, you know, you thrive from people, you hear people with similar experiences or similar situations and like how they got there. Like mm -hmm. the keynote yesterday, Billy Hollis has been since 1973 right there's a lot that we can learn from him yeah absolutely. you know and he sells relevant advice for today yeah and i think that's amazing like let's well, learn from some of his, his experiences but, you know what worked what didn't yeah it just you know, it's, it's very hopeful you know absolutely the keynotes have been great um every everything you know boston's been good to us this week the sun is out today the weather's cooling off it's, it's kind of like Release day, I think. Right? I think this weather came with the release. Oh, like, yeah. to be. Yeah. It's the universe name. It's working. Yep. It's working. So what other big news do you have out today? I'm, I'm checking some release notes Let's here. see. I mean, in terms of release, you know, I shared some of the big things, of course. Um, there are some smaller enhancements in terms of uh, different layouts, as well as... Uh, you know, some care, comparing session traffic, but then you can't really see this. But in the background, we're doing some community efforts today too for local Boston. No, so we no, had um, mimosas for mission this morning, where we had attendees, and employees come down here, and there were I think four different local, uh, like higher, not higher education, but educational. Like yes, yeah. K through twelve. Um, I think there's an elementary school, an after school program, like a middle school and high school. And Progress and a lot of our partners came together to donate supplies, backpacks, um, iPads for, you know, kids that may be underserved within the community. Yeah. And I think that this is a great way to see everybody can be on for a good cause because I mean, children are the future, exactly. right? And um, we want to ensure that they're equipped and they have the confidence to do the best work they can in school. and to not have them worry about things along those lines. Yeah, it actually just reminded me of the, you know, earlier in the week when Yogesh had his keynote and talked to the women in STEM who yes. have the, earned the scholarship from Progress. I mean, it really just, if you watched that keynote and you, you, you've, you've seen Yogesh talk uh, more than once, I'm sure you've seen this theme of, uh, that we have at Progress really engaging the community and really staying on top of what's important 
to the world um, as things change. You know, we've been really adaptable, really fluid, and I think just having that open mind and having the, the team that we have at the top and the sea level all the way through uh, our, our organization, just it's really uh, awesome to see that. You know, we're not here just for our, ourselves. We're here to help everyone. Um, you know, whether you're building applications or whether we're helping to build actual communities or helping in those schools, those are the things that we really take pride in. Yeah, no, I agree. I feel you said prideful to be part of that. Yeah. Frank, giving back. We try to do things that are on, but when you come together as a collective group, you can accomplish so much more. Absolutely. Right? You and I are going to, it'd be quite if you and I had to raise $25,000 to give one organization. Yeah. I mean, true. if we did that, sure, that'd be amazing. But um, I'm kind of like liking that as a challenge, maybe. I don't know. Maybe we should do that. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Stay tuned. Stay maybe, tuned. maybe we'll figure something out. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any questions in the chat? Uh, here's a question. Can you target specific browser versions for testing purposes? Actually, I really like that question. It's like somebody set that up. Optimus 1206. <laughs> Thank you for that question. Um, so for Test Studio, we do automate on um, different browser versions. We still support IE because some of our customers need it still. Okay, good to know. Um, but we also support you know, Firefox, Chrome, Edge. We're, we're usually ready with a zero day support as the browsers come out with changes. Um, we've introduced extension-based uh, automation and tooling as well as extension lists uh, so that either way you have that technology. But when it comes to the versioning, you certainly can target uh, different versions of your browsers. Um, and in our testing, you can specifically need to, if you need to, you can specifically uh, change the test steps properties to work with a specific browser version. Generally speaking, those test steps are all set to work with all browsers out of the box. So one test for all browsers. But if you need to, if you needed something specific for a specific browser version, you always have that ability uh, to do that as well. And one other thing I wanted to add, has, Test Studio has support specifically with our own controls in mind. We, of course, can work with anything web and now desktop uh, applications. But when it comes to working with Telerik controls, if you've got Kendo grids and drop downs and things like that, uh, we work with those really, really well because we built translators for those. And one thing that we added, actually, I think two releases ago, was the ability to have specific um, specific versioning for the components. So let's say you are uh, still on R2 of 2022 for your application. You can actually set that in Test Studio and say, hey, I'm using this version of these controls. And that way, the right translators know what to do with that version. So we have versioning even built in at that level as well. Very knowledgeable. Yeah, I know. That's it's good. Really great question. Yeah, you asked the question to the right person, too. If I was yeah. on here by myself, I would not have been able to give them all of that insight that we just did. It just comes out. You know, you, <laughs> all of a sudden, the, the question comes and the answers are there. He dreams about testing. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually automating right now. Yes, you didn't uh, know that. Yeah. Wait, what is it you said your kids think that you do? Was it, oh, they yeah, they think I don't work because they they watch me, they watch my uh, my applications being automated, and they, they think that I don't have to actually work because it's all just doing it by itself. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. We were talking about that yesterday too um, in the keynote. Uh, Billy said, "How many here people here do their parent does their mom know what they do?" Yeah. I think one person raised their hand. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's nice to be around you know, people that you can talk to about the thing that you spend a majority of your waking hours doing. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm not going up to my friends at a softball game talking about uh, network fighting. Right? Yeah. I mean, I don't think, I think people will probably try to find a way to yeah, they're like, skirt over away from me. So when you come here, I mean, everyone you talk to has a different story, but yeah, you can relate it. You know, to something you've done. You know, maybe I'm in the testing side, but you know, I know some about like the React and the Kendo, or I can talk about you know WPF or Windforms. But, yeah. With other people who get what I'm saying. Yeah, and I mean, like, there's just such a <laughs> learning opportunity here too. Right? So if there's things you don't know, everybody. There, I mean, uh, there's someone here that. Knows. Yes. You know, that, that those questions can be answered. So these events, I think, are are really really great to to get everybody together, get the brain power in yeah. the room, and and you know. Get your answers. So. Well, one of the events I or sessions I went to was about like machine learning with AWS. Oh. That is something I don't know anything about. That's so pretty I was trying to take in as much as I could. Um, the gentleman who did the talk was a data scientist again. Um, Way over my head. Yes, but I'm just amazed at the different things that you can 
how they fit together. So yeah. it's a lot of work to do. Don't ask, don't put any questions in about machine learning and AWS. No data but, science. But. Yeah. No. <laughs> Save that for uh, somebody else. We follow up. People who are following us. I'm not sure who that is yet, but they might yeah, be. Ask them. Ask yeah, ask them. Yeah, ask them. Right. <laughs> So in terms of the release, what was the one thing that uh, you're most excited about or like you couldn't wait to share? Oh, so, okay. So we had our desktop testing uh, come out kind of in a, as a quiet release prior to this main, uh, main release. So it was in beta. And the first thing I did when I got desktop testing was automate Excel. I don't know why. Excel, okay, how does that work? I mean, you just basically point it at the application, you hit record, and you could go in there and just do what you do in Excel. and it, captures all of that stuff and then you can hit execute and watch it redo everything okay. you've just done i don't know why i was i was so excited i was like th this is going to be in my mind it's like this has always been a challenge uh, when you wanted to interact with excel and obviously when you have a very complex c control set like that where there's all sorts of you know, endless rows and, and, and grids and so forth but yeah it was great it was seamless i was just elated you know there were, there were things that i used to have to do through code uh, which is not a problem with the with Test Studio. You can always code if you have to in C Sharp or VB.net. But we try to make things as codeless as possible. So as soon as I was able to test out some things in Excel, there was uh, about four or five tests I already realized. Like I used to have some code in that I could actually go and swap that out for a codeless uh, test at that point. So oh, pretty awesome. That is cool. Yeah. And reducing the code around testing reduces the headache of maintaining those tests. Well, that's a good point. The whole maintaining yeah that's a whole i guess we're, we kind of focus a lot on me so i guess for back to you on, on the fiddler release well i mean i've been streaming i feel like all week so I, I wonder i'm trying to like get all the fresh perspectives in here um in terms of fiddler i think one of the most things i was or am excited about would be like it says an extended office yeah so rosen who is one of the managers on the engineering team for Fiddler was, you know, doing his debugging work on the plane, which he's dedicated. Oh, yeah. Um, right. But before you wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah. You know, you would have required that internet access or um, and without that, he was still able to be productive yet yeah, without, with any services that didn't connect to the server. So I think that's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Yeah. That's really cool. You know, and just those continuous little improvements, like I said, the, you know, for the Mac users, now you can pick your download, right? If you're with Intel or that facility, you can, it's going to help that's with insane. your performance issues. You know, it's going to help just increase your productivity overall. That's really what it's about. Um, but, I mean, there's so many things. That's one thing I've been enjoying is that summer dull moment, right? In right. terms of releases, like, you know, we have these big releases, but I think one thing to realize is that it doesn't mean we're not re releasing things in between. That's right. a good point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we often have, uh, in, in fact, in the testing world, we do internal builds. Which, if you're concerned, uh, uh, concerned about like new browser features that come out when you're working with browsers, different browsers. Like I said earlier, we usually do have zero day support because we usually do get preview uh, access to those changes and, and we're able to adjust our application to meet those needs by day zero. And that release comes GA. And, uh, and in between, we keep putting those out. So as the browsers are changing, we're putting out releases in between. You get those, they go live, you can have them, yeah. or you can choose to wait to till today when you have a major release that rolls all those internal builds up into one. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, there's always things going behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, there's always improvements happening. Um, yeah, I think, what was it, in Blazor, they introduced a whole bunch of new controls in this release. Yeah. Right? Tons of controls. Yeah. I mean, and if the, the list was already impressive before this release, yeah, but I think they just took it, you know, to that next level, which is unstoppable which is at this right. point. I mean, yeah. really, who else can can top that? I guess. And I've had even more and more conversations lately. Yeah. yeah, some of the events about some of like Blazor, and I know like the Maui was real popular on earlier streams, and there was a workshop oh, yeah. this week too. Yeah. So it's fun to see some of those. You know, I go back to the, I started off like in the wind form stays, mm -hmm. so to just see the progression and the excitement around. The new ones is uh, makes my job interesting. Yeah, and I love that. that I, that's another aspect of our company that's that's really exciting. You know, not only do we have a focus and a pulse on, on you know what's going on in the world and how we can better the society, but we're also keeping that focus on continuously improving, continuously you know deploying, um, and, and, and you know making sure that we're supporting what our customers need and supporting their customers. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's all about, yeah. right? When it comes down to it, like 
Uh, we're here to help you deliver those accessible solutions, you know, high quality code, and delight your end users. Yeah. And, and seeing something like Maui come out, uh, it's it's just another exciting moment where it's like, hey, not only are we cutting edge, we're bleeding edge. We're actually yeah. leading. And actually, we're partnering even with customers of ours to build yeah. controls that they need. So like, like Eve said earlier, we really do respond and listen to the customer needs, bring them into the conversations, bring our developer relations in, bring in our dev team, and basically get all those people to the table and say, you know, what is not working? Where are the gaps? What can we do for you to make this even better? And, uh, and I think that's been a really winning combination for us. I agree, I agree. And I know we've covered a lot in terms of the release and the highlights, but for each product, there are release notes that are live on the website, and then there are also a release log that really just dives into it, you know, and talks about it at the feature level, but also the benefit to you. Yeah. Right. So exactly. I think that's important. So you see, okay, it does this. Why should I care? What is you know? What does that what, mean to me? What does it mean to me? Yeah. Right. It's, What's it it's, for it's me? It's all in there, and yeah, I, I think you're going to be impressed when you see that lineup. Um, and we're talking, you know, every product along, you know, over the teller yeah. umbrella. Mm. Um, yeah. Release day. So that's. And this is kind of a milestone, I think. This might be, I'd have to go back and double check, you know, somebody double check me on this, fact check me on this. Okay. But I think this might be the first time we've actually had the Test Studio release in line with the full DevTools release. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. In previous years, they were they were staggered slightly. Okay. We had a slightly different cadence of, uh, of delivery. And we finally said, you know what? What are we doing? Why don't we get all this on the same page? And so here we are. Today's like the yeah. day where Testudo gets to be a part of this big party with the rest of the product stack as well. That's great. I mean, the amplification's huge. Um, the fact that it coincides, you know, with WH and Progress 360, I think is probably not by accident, but I think <laughs> I love the opportunity to be here live. Um, Absolutely. As I mentioned, we next week we'll be having the more in-depth webinars. So you'll be able to see the bits. We're going to walk through the features, show you hands-on, um, you know, live action demos to really help you hone in on what are those from the release. What are the ones that are going to make the most sense for you? And maybe if you were evaluating some of our products and you hadn't made that decision yet, or you're waiting on something in particular, there's a good chance that it's online. Yeah, make sure you go get those updates and pull down the latest bits. I mean, you don't even have to wait for us in the webinars. But, no, you don't. You know. Go ahead and, and go try it out and get things going. But, but definitely tune in. We'd love to have as many people on next week to see that. Yeah. I know that we're already expecting a pretty big crowd. So uh, you know, virtually, I think, in that case. Yes, but yes, virtually. In this case, uh, here this week, it's been great to have both virtual as well as in person. Really refreshing to, yes. to have a show like this. Yeah. No, I'm, we're grateful to be here. We're grateful to bring you this news. Um, thankful for everyone who's tuning in, who's made everything possible. Definitely, yeah. Any closing words you have for the audience? Um, no, I'm just checking the, the, the comments here. It looks like a little bit of activity, but uh, oh, there was one up here on top that's pretty lengthy. Let me see if I can get this mouse to come back to life. We have a little bit of a battery issue. Uh, no, it doesn't want to work. Right but I'm seeing the top. It says teller.net desktop web and desktop. Uh, Looks just like a okay, product just listing. a big product listing. Yeah, yeah. sorry. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as final words from my end, uh, you know, thank you for tuning in. First of all, thank you for those that were able to attend at least virtually, if not uh, in person, in, uh, in addition. And uh, yeah, like you, I'm just very thankful and grateful yeah. that we have this opportunity to be here and uh, to be a part of the release. Yeah. Okay, so I like to sign off. I don't like to say goodbye. Right, that seems like permanent. So how so long till next time? So long. Talk to you later. Yeah. Long. Right. Talk ta for now. <laughs> okay. Now he's getting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We will see everyone later. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. We have a little technical issue. Okay, so we do this. Come on. I can help. Hello and good night.